Okay, this game in motion is looking kind of... This game in motion is looking kind of nuts. <laughs> in motion, it's looking pretty... Your moment, your fight is what they're going for now. Okay. This blows my mind. Available 2023, so we actually do not have a release date yet. Damn, Capcom might be going for the one-two punch just like they did in 2019, where they released Resident Evil 2 Remake and DMC5 in the first few months of the year. Uh, there's a high likelihood that this will come out February 2023, and there will be a uh, Resident Evil 4 release in, in late March. There's a high chance that'll be that'll be what's happening. Oh, they're just calling it World Tour. Oh my God. World Tour is an immersive single player story mode that is completely new experience that defies genre labels. Carve out your own legend on the streets. Look for more news in World Tour in the future. We got something to do, right? We got homework. Capcom gave us homework. We now need to go back to the, the best version of Street Fighter Alpha 3. We'll go back and we'll fire up Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max. But the last time Street Fighter had a World Tour mode was in Alpha 3. And Alpha 3 Max is the most feature-rich version of it. So let's go back and we'll, we'll, at some point, we need to go and see what the old school World Tour is and what are the best things that hopefully can be taken from that. Hopefully we'll be actually in here because this is obviously a big inspiration from Alpha 3, you know? So this is all coming soon here. How about uh, Fighting Ground? Oh my God, dude, look at this shit. Look at this, look at this. Oh, look at this shit. Continue the tradition of being a genre leader. The pinnacle of fighting games can be found in this mode. With a highly evolved combat system, experience a stunning innovation for yourself. All these modes can be found in Street Fighter V, cannot be found in Fighting Ground. All of the modes found in Street Fighter V can be found in Fighting Ground. Look at this screenshot, man. What the fuck? Look at this UI. One, two, three, four, five pips. Okay, so we have meter up here. We have gauge down here. There, it has life bars. Uh, simpler controls will let, uh-oh, uh-oh. Simpler controls will let you improve your offense and defense. With good timing, you can unleash attacks with flashy visuals, allowing you to experience the thrill of the fight even more. I think I just made a video on this, right, chat? I'm fairly sure we just made a video uh, talking about this. Vitality, all right? The timer, the character icon, the drive gauge, uh, which is right here. Drive gives you the ability to perform various actions in six. When the gauge is empty, the fighter will enter burnout. So they're taking it from uh, learning from streamers and content creators, okay. Well, and will not be able to use drive related techniques until the gauge is replenished. Oh, so drive gauge comes back. It isn't just, it isn't just uh, like a, a one-time only use feature. It does come back in some way. Super art, this gauge should perform a devastating super art. Every attack that lands will fill the super art gauge and you can fill up to three stocks. Super art gauge also carries over between rounds. So you can do potentially three supers? Huh. Yeah, I don't see stun gauge, right? There is no, uh, there is no measure of stun again. Is there a defensive bar? Did I miss something? Portraits break for stun? Bullshit, do we? Okay, I I'm getting spoiled. Okay, so the engine that powers the drive system is available as soon as your round begins, allowing you to fight to your liking. If you spend your entire drive gauge, you'll enter a burnout state with a disadvantage, but also replenishes automatically, making meter management a key to the fight. Understanding the system in depth, including when to be conservative and when to gamble? Chat, they're literally doing fucking everything. They're literally doing everything I bitched about from Street Fighter V. They're literally like this line specifically, this line right here, where it's like, there needs to be more risk reward. There needs to be more situations that go away from like the vortex heavy Street Fighter IV or like the looping throw sort of like make a guess situation in Street Fighter V. There needs to be like giant commitments that you can put yourself into and then suddenly make a big risk and get a big reward. Th that's sort of been missing a lot from, from Street Fighter before. I fucking hope this game plays really well, man. I really hope it just doesn't feel like absolute shit when you actually play it, because there's a good chance, right? Things look really good, but it could just feel really weird when you play it. Is this good or bad? It's something that I've wanted for a very long time, because the last time that Street Fighter had something that was a super high risk and you get a very big reward was Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. 
right? Third Strike was the last Street Fighter game that had something like that, because the parry, that's just what the parry is. At its fundamental level, that's what a parry is. What it evolved into is something different, right? But the parry is like, you're taking the biggest risk, you're holding forward instead of blocking, right? And you're gonna get a big reward if it does work out. That's been sort of missing from a lot of, like, Street Fighter. I guess it's, it's in the focus attack, kind of, but this has me very excited, but now I'm like, I'm, I'm worried that I'm setting myself up for disappointment, right? I'm, I'm like, worried that we're gonna, I'm gonna be disappointed by some shit. This website is amazing, by the way. Whoever set this shit up, you're very smart. Drive Impact. Holy shit. Uh, drive Gauge Cost, a powerful strike that can absorb opponent's incoming attack. Perform this on an opponent backed into the corner to induce a wall splat, even if they block the attack. So this costs one Drive Gauge, right? A single Drive Gauge, and it's like a huge, a giant focus attack type of move. Drive Parry. Drive gauge, uh, automatically repel an opponent's attack and replenish drive when performed successfully. Hey, if you parry, you get to do more parries. Perform a perfect parry by parrying just before... Ooh. Damn. Are you telling me that you're getting rewarded for precise timing now? Now we're really rewarding you for precise timing. That makes me happy. That definitely makes me- we're here. <laughs> we are here. Uh, okay. The game has a universal parry system. And here's the thing. It is not like- you, I just realized, for anybody that's curious, this is not Street Fighter 3 parrying, right? This is not Third Strike parrying. This is- this is presumptually closer to what Ryu and Gil does in Street Fighter V, right? Characters assume a pose, they have an animation, and they will catch shit if it works. But now, instead of just Ryu or some characters being able to do that, it is a universal thing that every single character can do in the game, right? Un un unlike what, how is that different from Street Fighter 3? There's no animation for a parry in Street Fighter 3 unless it worked, right? The, what, is, what is the animation for a whiff parry in Street Fighter 3? You got hit in the head. This is very different than that. This is something that is relatively unique. It just depends on how fast is it? How much recovery does it have? Can you do it in the air? Like, these are all questions that I immediately have. I think my biggest question is, can you do drive parry in the air, right? Can you actually parry a DP? Can you parry anti-airs? Because that'll, that'll make the game genuinely crazy. Overdrive, press two of the same button, uh, instead of one when performing a special move to turn it into an overdrive art. Okay, so these are EX moves. EX moves are attached to uh, your drive gauge and not your meter for specials, or your meter for supers. These are the same attacks as EX special moves in past games. I'll just read instead of uh, saying shit from now on. Drive rush. Dude, there are so many mechanics. Um, perform a quick rush forward from a drive parry or a cancelable normal. Drive rush from a parry costs one drive stock while drive rush from a normal, you can dash cancel out of normals for three bars. You can dash cancel out of a parry for one bar. The game has inherent dash canceling and this, this resource comes back. Not from specials though, right? From a drive parry stance or from a cancelable normal attack. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's from specials. You can't like, you can't like dash cancel out of specials. All right, shit's getting a little crazy. Shit's getting a little crazy. You can use that for offense or defense technically, right? I'm gonna do some dumb shit in this game. <laughs> oh, I'm doing some dumb shit in this game, says the chat. Oh, hell yes. There's still more? Uh, drive reversal for two bars, perform a counter attack while blocking an opponent's attack. Okay, so here's our alpha counter. The damage is low, but can help you out of a tight situation. So the drive gauge is used for a, uh, almost an equal amount of defensive mechanics on, on top of mixed offensive mechanics, right? So it has, this, this This gauge is used for the get off me button. It's used for more damaging special moves. It's used to parry. It's used, you get more from parrying and it's used to cancel out of parrying. So it's everything, right? You, you really are, you can either be a super defensive player and really parry a lot and get people off of you like nuts, which is a lot in Street Fighter V. But instead of Street Fighter V, right? You can use your pips now for offensive shit, right? You can really use it to extend your damage if you're super aggressive. Player choice is a very good thing. You're not gonna, not everyone's gonna play the exact same way until it gets optimized and everyone plays the exact same way.
which is the nature of fighting games. But this is nuts. These are this is a lot of shit, man. This is a lot of stuff attached to this bar, right? Control type, so modern and classic. Six offers a new control type to play without the need to remember difficult command inputs, allowing players to enjoy the flow of battle. Players who are delving into the world of Street Fighter the first time or those who haven't touched a fighting game in years can jump into the fray. And of course, the traditional control type of the series is still available for players to enjoy it. All right, uh, we're here. We did it. We've arrived at a situation where forward and a button is gonna lead to a Hadouken. Uh, we're like down and a button is going to give you uh, a Shoryuken, right? Uh, we've got we, we, we have now reached the crossroad where Street Fighter is now gotten simple controls is what is what it looks like uh, there. And how, how does it look on modern allows you to perform a special attack with a simple button combination? Check this out. Dude, what is the what is this assisted combo mash R2 to get a combo? Light, medium, and heavy attack on old school controls, right? And there is a special move button now. So here's the thing. It completely changes the way Street Fighter is played, right? The entire game mode, the entire game functionally is different on controller in this game mode. You do not get two lights. You do not get two mediums. You do not get two heavies. At least it looks that way, right? This is very, this is very much exactly what we were talking about and i was warning you guys this is this is potentially right around the corner that you're going to get games that don't require you to do severe button inputs anymore or severe motion inputs um now is that inherently a really bad thing it's not why isn't wh why is that the case well as long as the classic control type exists and rewards the player, because we I, I didn't even know this was going to be down here, and I was just assuming the game was going to have this shit. As long as this still exists, and this rewards the players more, if this allows for players to get either more damage or to do unique stuff, then that's fine. The traditional six-button layout that needs no introduction, the standard control type for the series, effective at high-level play, where complete control over your character is a must. Players can freely customize their layout, allowing for a wide range of fighting styles. Uh-oh. He got Donkey Kick. Uh, Hadouken, Tatsu, Shoryu, Donkey Kick. But what was that other crazy shit that he was doing? At least he has Donkey Kick. Thank God, right? Thank God. What is the... Yeah, here, here's the... Here's simple controls. Look at Triangle to throw Hadouken. Back triangle for Tatsu. Down triangle for Kick. Forward triangle for Shoryuken. I mean, don't... I hate being a prophet. I don't like this shit. But it is exactly what I was telling you guys it was going to be. Um, is that specifically a bad thing? It's not as long as... Well, I, I think we already got an understanding of what makes this different. What makes this uh, technically weaker, right? Why would you not want to do this shit? And, and, and specifically have, like, you know, special moves assigned to just button commands? Well, you lose half your attacks, right? You actually lose half of your attacks. You only get a light, medium, and heavy. You don't get two lights, two mediums, two heavies. So I don't know how that's going to balance out in the long run, but what they're saying here is that you get complete control over your character. Complete control, right? In the old, in, if you play the easy mode, if you play like simple inputs, you actually do not have full control over your character. That's already a giant caveat to people that are going to be playing the game with these style controls. That already leaves a good reason for people to be playing the new one, but at the same time, you know, we don't know. We don't know exactly how it's going to play out. Hang on a second. There are three supers in here. Shinko Hadouken, Shin Hashogeki, and Shin Shoryuken. Are you telling me we get three different supers? Whoa! Uh, what? Oh, so he does stand HK into EX Donkey Kick into Shoryuken into Shin Shoryuken. That is literally like a almost like a third strike combo. Granted, anything that Ryu has an EX Donkey Kick where you wall bounce, that is quite literally a third strike combo. So it's just R2 to hold and you just press circle, circle, circle. Uh, R2 to hold it and you just press medium, medium, medium and you get this one. And R2 to hold it and you just get light fireball, right? Basic combos. Real time commentary? I'm so confused. Are people actually providing the commentary itself in the game? What? Uh, and they don't offer anything else over here. Okay, okay. Commentators featured on the Capcom Pro Tour will commentate your battles in real time. 
Get the pro player tournament experience as they commentate on everything that happens during a fight. I mean, chat, right? I'm just saying, I, 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 I might be available. You know, I've done this before. I, you know, I've been here. I was here about, 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 about like eight years ago. You know, I'm just saying. I've been here before. I've done, I've done this roundabout. What? Oh yeah, you know I'm ready. You're trying to leave each other here? At this range, many attacks can connect if you stick something out. The neutral game is very important. Hit them with a stopping block. More fuel for the fire. Cook them up. Break it on them to lay down some damage without giving up ground. <laughs> <laughs> Luke turns into a tiger. <laughs> I'm looking at the gameplay right now. I need to hear some Nage's, right? Nage! I need to hear Nage, like, over and over and over again. Where's my Nage's? Okay, this game in motion is looking kind of... This game in motion is looking kind of nuts. <laughs> in motion, it's looking pretty. Are we seeing some vanilla street, like some early beta Street Fighter V combos? The graffiti in the background is incredible. This shit is fucking amazing. Tribal tats come falling from the sky and shit. Oh my God. Welcome to Street Fighter VI. <laughs> Slash. God damn, going with the urban hip hop theme is the smartest thing you could have ever done. The, and committing to it like 100%. Was this the thing everyone was telling me to check out? Was this like the walkthrough thing? Is that about like all there is? Is this like the the, the big thing that there is? Oh man, okay, we have to we have to go through this. I think the commentary feature thing is is cool, right? It's cool that that's there. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bit funny, right? That's all I'll say is that it's just a bit, it's a cute little feature, it's a bit funny. It's funny that it's going to change as well, that like different commentators are going to be added is what it seems like. More commentators to be announced. Chat, I'm not in this shit, right? Okay, no. If you want, if you want me to commentate your matches terribly, I'm in Yatagarasu. Meet me there. Are these all players? Did they? Oh my god. Are they doing the Virtua Fighter thing? Oh please, dear God. The Battle Hub is the ultimate place for players to seek out friendly rivalries. What can you do in the Battle Hub? Stay tuned. Did you just make PlayStation Home Street Fighter Edition? Right? Is that what you did? Did they just make like PlayStation Home, but it's Street Fighter with your own custom character and shit? Steve is going to lose his mind. Steven is, Steven is flipping the fuck out. He is losing his goddamn shit right now. He can't even believe what's happening. There's arcade machines down here. The fact that there's like a big presentation prize fight thing happening here is super sick. That reminds me a lot of VF when you log into the game. But it's like, yeah, it's like an Arc System Works lobby, but like expensive, you know? Steve is shitting and pissing at the moment. Oh, we don't know anything more on it. Okay, because that's like the big online mode of the game. Smart evolution and stunning innovation. A new era begins in 2023. 
Uh, with Street Fighter VI, players will be able to take their skills around the world in search of their own strength. No one starts off as a champion. Even the strongest of fighters had to take the first step. Now it's your turn to take the challenge and bring the game to the next level. God damn this Capcom logo. This Capcom and Street Fighter logo. God damn, that shit did not need to go as hard as it does. I am shissing right now. The world of Street Fighter VI is all about street culture. Sorry. <laughs> I, just, I, I just I just love being right. <laughs> I just love, you know, the things I've been asking for for so long coming to fruition and they're fucking doing it. And the fact I'm shitting right now um, from the graffiti to the music to the beats while you hustle and to the fight itself. You also experience a new graphical quality that lets you really feel out the dynamics of your body. Dive into the battle against other players. It's like a rhythm and dance that doesn't stop. What the fuck? Did, is a bomb going off? What is happening? Huh? <laughs> Whoa, okay. Jesus Christ, dude. Hey, our, our boy. <laughs> this looks way... This looks way better than this. Right? They, they put some... They spent some time polishing some shit over the past few months, I tell you what. I'm seeing a lot of shots of this dude from the Mad Gear gang. Is this guy just gonna be playable? The last time What's-His-Name was playable was in what? Uh... Final Fight Revenge? The Street Fighter series has always been without, uh, been, been without, been about smart evolution and stunning innovation. With highly evolved graphics, you'll be able to feel the real dynamics and tension of each fight scene. The new combat system, complete with controls, will let you truly enjoy fighting, and the back and forth battle will allow players to enjoy fights uh, in line with their skill level. Because that's, once again, something we've been literally bitching about for a hell of a long time. Like, how much of the online experience is going to be focused around skill-based matchmaking. Yeah, this is one of those like, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, it, that's exactly the way I feel. Because this, this, that's what this is coming across. This whole page right here is the mission statement of what like they're committing to in the game. Um, and hopefully, right, hopefully this pans out. Hopefully they've actually put in some effort into, you know, getting you to play with people. It's a shit ton of hopium. Yeah, it absolutely is. Uh, the street, there's cars. Each player walks their own path. Whether you're looking for strength or for fun, we invite you to take your first step and find your own way. It's time to experience the vast world of Street Fighter. This isn't just a story about fighters, it's a story about you, the player. Find your rival, meet friends, and walk the path of the World Warrior. So, this is their commitment to the single player offerings of the game, right? Yeah, we have single player. It's about you evolving, it's about you leveling up, it's about you getting better. It's about you going to Chun-Li or beating your ass and potentially teaching you moves? Who knows? And then they're online. Find your rival and meet friends. You'll find plenty of both in battle. Where you meet these people is also evolving. Whether you're whether people gather to exchange ideas, you'll never know what you might find. In Street Fighter VI, it's time to gather and enjoy the fight once more in the battle hub and have people call you horrible expletives at any given moment. Oh, we have not gone over characters. Damn, this character art goes too fucking hard. Holy shit. Holy. Fuck. Fuck, dude. He's so hot. He's so tiny. Why are you so, he's so tiny. He, okay, Capcom. All right, Japanese devs, I hate to break it to you. Um, I hate to break it to you. Uh, this dude sitting at five foot nine, being the thickest, widest boy in the world, definitely doesn't weigh 187 fucking pounds, okay? Uh, this dude's pushing 220 at least, all right? You see how, you see how fucking massive this man is? Who are you trying to kid? 187 pounds? That shit is heavy. Look how fucking big this guy is. Who are you trying to fool? Even training his martial artist to seek true strength. While mattered in Sisir, Ryu travels the globe in search of his worthy opponents. Having overcome the Satsui no Hado, he now seeks greater heights. Mmm. Lean muscle. Um, th that muscle's fucking heavy, dude. Uh, they're continuing the story directly from Five, right? Where he's he's uh, essentially expunged the, the Dark Hado type shit. Right? He's gotten rid of it. Ryu, Ryu's a different man. He's a big boy. Wow. Wow. 
You know what? Uh, they're, they, they deset. Oh my fucking God, man. Oh my fucking God. They, they are really desaturating the image on these, uh, this Shinsho Ryukin animation, and I hope they don't do that, right? Uh, in, in the trailer, Shinsho was, like, really big and beautiful, right? And, like, really colorful. Uh, I genuinely hope they, that this is, like, it looks like an x-ray. I hope they don't desaturate this, right? I, I hope that's not the case. It could just be an impact frame, right? But this shit looks fucking nuts. This is exactly what I was, like, worried about, where it's like, oh my god, are they gonna take... So they're gonna take Street Fighter characters, and they're going to try to Devil May Cry 5 them, right? So they're gonna look like real people, but not real people. This is clearly not a real person, right? This is, like, hyper-stylized, like, super... This, this, some dude drew this guy, and they made a 3D model out of it, right? It very much... I'm, I'll, I'll also be very curious to ask the Capcom devs, uh, this, this very much gives me Daigo Ikeno feels, which is the, the main character artist for Street Fighter and, like, concept artist for Street Fighter for the past, like, four games, right? So I'm kind of curious if Daigo Ikeno is the one that's sort of helming the game again and is responsible for creating all these new, the new looks to Street Fighter, like the new characters. Luke. Hell yeah! Alright, I... Luke is so much better so much better in this game. He is so much better in this game than, than the previous game. My god. He hates horror games. Uh, likes wacky t-shirts. And weighs approximately 15 more pounds than Ryu. Who the fuck are we trying to... F he weighs 10 more pounds than Ryu. Who the fuck are we trying to fool here, Capcom? A contractor for a PMC, Luke Luke uses his elite military background to teach mixed martial arts. His days are off spent eating junk food, playing video games, and fighting. But make no mistake, Luke plays to win. Alright, so he's a Twitch streamer. But, I mean... Who the fuck are we fooling here, man? I'm two inches taller than this bitch, and that's me. Anyway, I love the art. Who the fuck are we fooling with these weight and height? There's, people have no idea what, what the character should actually weigh. I think I think Capcom is just too nervous about making Ryu weigh like over 200 pounds. Why do you care? Because it's hilarious. It's, hil it's hilarious how much they make these characters like, how they focus on their weight and their height. And they're so like, what? Like, what the fuck? Hugo looking real rough over here, all right? These background characters, Definitely need a second pass. I'll say that right now. If there's one thing that I have to be relatively critical about in the new Street Fighter is that <laughs> these background characters are a bit rough. Some of them, at least the ones that are front and center, like up in here and, you know, you really see them. Uh, they might need, they might need another pass. Just maybe. Wow, they definitely need another pass. Holy shit. Uh, the lady's leg is clipping into the background. Yes, well, I mean, yeah, and also this dude's friggin' face. Anyway, Luke looks great. Jaime? No, it's Jamie. I thought, actually, man, I got the I and the M mixed around. It's actually Jamie. I thought it was Jaime. Uh, a self-styled Chinatown peacekeeper aspires, uh, aspires to the example set by Yun and Yang, the twin dragons. So he's a Yun and Yang fanboy. Um, an expert dancer, Jamie places justice and friendship above all else, defending his town with martial skill. Damn, so he is, he is literally inspired by Yun and Yang. Um, hates getting lectured in arrogance, likes Yun Yang dancing and his grandmother. Uh, his height and weight sort of makes sense. I think this guy looks cooler in motion. In some of these shots, he only looks okay. Yeah, and here he looks badass. Damn, the kicks? What's with Luke's no kicks? Right? What's with the lack of, uh... What's with the lack of Tim's on our boy over here? Huh. Huh. Give Luke some shoes, man. What's going on here? What's with this injustice? I finally noticed, yeah, Luke does have... Luke is barefoot, huh? <clears throat> ah. So he's taking drinks all the time. He's going to have a drink mechanic, 100%. You want to be drinking. This is like, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Let me get my dumb face out of the way. Hang on a second. Dude, he... 
Let him let the boy's hair flow. What the fuck, man? This is Jesus. If there's an option to like let his hair flow, if not uh, instead of having the braid, uh, holy shit, man. Let the man let the man's shit rock. Holy hell, that looks really cool. Uh, that looks very fucking cool. All right, yeah, I, I think I'm definitely down for a Street Fighter finally get like getting like a drunken boxing, like drunken kung fu sort of character. Is that Gohan? I, I don't. I that that's a good question for the chat. Damn, boy, damn, they went. They gave. Oh my god, this is so sick. Um, a former high kicking ICPO agent Chun Li looks after Lei Fen. A victim of the Black Moon incident. With Shadaloo Sundered, she now runs Kung Fu classes and has become a well-loved member of the local community. <laughs> this part is the best part. <laughs> the little love heart. Secret. I, I'm guessing uh, Lee Fen is the girl, right? She might be... That could potentially be the girl that you see in the trailer. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. She's probably a character, uh, or like a, a story character in some way. She's looking elegant as fuck. Damn, man, the visuals on this game. Can I, can we do this? Nice. Damn, dude, the visuals on this game. And this is like a uh, not as high resolution image. This is only a 1080p image, right? So this is not actually running at 4K. Dude, the facial animations, my god, they're going ham. Oh, I didn't see her voice. I'll do that in a second. She's got this big launching kick combo that very much reminds me of uh, early on Street Fighter uh, 5, right? They took that shit out of the game. Well, she looks good, right? I need to go back and look at the... Uh I need to go back and look at everything. I would say Capcom has done it. Like, the visual fidelity of Street Fighter 6 has now caught up to Mortal Kombat 11 at least, you know? Like, there is indeed... Uh, there is indeed a level of visual fidelity now that, that matches at least MK11, in my opinion. I think, I, I, but in different ways, right? Now, they're not going for the hyper-realism element. They're going in the complete opposite, like, urban environment, sort of, like, graffiti, hip-hop, insane visual fidelity type shit. Which is good. Like, they did not make Street Fighter look just like the previous game. This game looks significantly different than Street Fighter V that looks significantly different than Street Fighter IV. Um, oh, there is PlayStation Blog. Okay, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What the fuck did I just see? Damn, dude, the Anna fucking- the Anna fucking Mations. Dude! <sighs> Holy shit, man, that DDT. We're getting demonstrations. He has a dive kick. Damn, he drank in. Uh, so, Jamie takes a swig out of his key unleashing drink. He drinks booze to raise his drink level. Higher levels unlock access to additional moves. Amazing. Uh, his Shundi is back, motherfucker. Ryu. Give me HD. So what is this shit? Dude, Ryu goes... Ryu has an install state? Are you shitting me? Ryu concentrates key in his palms and unleashes it in a short distance forward. Useful as a follow-up after block strings and combos. Denjin charge. Ryu envelops his fists with the power of nothingness, embracing or enhancing special moves such as Hadouken and Hashogeki. Ryu is vulnerable while performing this move, so careful timing is critical. They gave Ryu an install. Holy hell, these were the things that I didn't see on the move list before. So that, yeah, they, they just show it. Uh, Denjin Charge makes Hashoge Hashogeki uh, launch. So you get a follow-up. Dope, right? So it's like V-Skill? See what Chun has. God damn, these animations. Chun just has a launcher, it looks like. So, uh, Tensho kicks. Chun rises into the air with the flurry of kicks, useful for countering an opponent's jump attack, so that's her anti-air, or closing out combos, also an ender. Chun switches uh, Seren Serenity Stream, switches to a low stationary fighting stance. While in the stance, Chun-Li's normal attack buttons change. 
Somebody in the chat was saying that she ha she is a stance character now, and it, it appears it's true. She has a low stance. Wow, this is not a crouching animation, dog. This is a low stance. She's fucking, yeah, she's fucking Gen? I'm sorry, she's Gen? She's not fucking Gen. That would be weird. A battle system built for creativity. With every new Street Fighter comes mechanics, you can master to rise to the top, including the drive system, a gauge you'll need to manage wisely, and one that is ripe with creativity. I like to call things ripe as well. You can utilize the drive gauge to perform five different techniques that can easily enhance your offense or defense. I'm gonna watch this trailer again. I wanna watch it with the goddamn music and crank it. This city, hit the streets. Yeah, hey, there I do it. Never fear losing. And when I get up in the game, you're up here improving. A real problem, but I solve them on Facebook. And if you think I'm going to. Yeah, that's Hugo with the giant attack art from Street Fighter uh, 3 Second Impact. Right here. Uh, you can't escape. It's literally uh, an ad, an advert for Street Fighter 3 Second Impact. This was the artwork for it. You guarantee we see Akuma in this game? Well, of course, but like, right? Like, if Akuma's in here, what the fuck? You gotta start thinking, what is Ken gonna look like? Right? With this sort of visual fidelity. What is Akuma gonna look like? What is Kami gonna look like? Rashid? Yeah. If Rashid should come back. Fight! Damn, we use toes flexing. This trailer's so good. I'd argue this is one of the best trailers for a fighting game in a while, dude. Let me have some fun. Ready? Then show me. This will be a good fight. So much goddamn impact to these moves. Is this a reused track? No, this is this is exclusive for this game. This is the track that was in uh, the announcement trailer. Listen to this shit. Fucking love it. Parries are a part of the core game mechanics now, right? Parries are like a huge part of the game. Holy shit. This is our destiny. My secret art. Six. And the logo change is very much appreciated, right? I like it. Max looks like a proud dad. I've been waiting for so long, dude. I've been waiting for so long for Capcom fighting games to get back on track, like, and have, like, a brand new Capcom fighting game to be excited about and not have everyone be horribly pissed off and at each other's throats and be fucking angry and bitter about, like, everything. At least to me, like this, I think I think this trailer hits fucking hard and, and shows exactly what Street Fighter has needed for a very long time. Because it, it, as much as like the competitive audience is always gonna be there and people are, people are relatively receptive to Street Fighter in the competitive side, I know 100% that the casual audience uh, fucking hated Street Fighter because of Street Fighter V. So many people just despised the series and despised Capcom fighting games because of it. So what I can feel from this trailer is a direct answer to that. Like a lot of what's in here is an answer to show people that like, hey, you know what? We get it. Here's your single player stuff. Here's a crazy new different visual style. Here's a new take on Street Fighter that hopefully you'll like because it is very different than what we have done before. And they're taking a risk. Like this is 100% very risky, but this game looks fun. It looks like it's something you're, I'm getting into something different. It isn't just like, oh, we're going to be street fightering it again in Street Fighter 4 and 5, right? We're, we're just going to be getting another Street Fighter. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like this is a significant change.